Hey there guys, this is Gary and uh, we are going to be doing something a little bit different today. We are actually on location here uh, for Thanksgiving, but they just dropped two fantastic models today or in the last couple of days. We're going to be looking at Z image. We're going to, uh, uh, I'm remote browsing into my computer, so it's going to be a little bit different than normal, but you're going to see we're able to make high quality images in as little as seven seconds. I'm making these in seven seconds. I can pump these up to 2048 um, and do it in 17 seconds. So just an amazing model. This is only um, six billion parameters, which means that guys, you can do this down probably even with your uh, six gigabytes of VRAM. So just incredible quality, incredible speed, um, and a very easy installation. I mean, look at this. This is this is really high quality stuff. So um, this is straight up competing with Flux here. Very good quality stuff that um, I think you guys are going to find to be quite satisfying. Okay, so we're going to jump into a really quick install on that because I just want to get you guys going with this. But before we do that, thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel. It really helps us. And, uh, you know, it's Thanksgiving Day. And one of the things I'm thankful for is you guys and you guys being part of the Get Going Fast community. And uh, and um, I like to think that maybe you're a little bit thankful for some of the uh, tools that we've been able to help you with too. So we've got a little sniff. I love you, bro. Kind of sort of thing going on here. And uh, with that said, be sure to come join us on the Discord. Uh, check us out on Instagram and, you know, all those places. Come over to the Reddit. We're like a little safe place in the Reddit world for you. Um, but meanwhile, let's just jump. We got turkey to be eaten. We got mashed potatoes waiting for us. So let's jump right into getting Z image going now. Yo! <laughs> All right, so getting going here, we're going to uh, pop over to here, and it's going to show my screen here for just a second, but there we go. Um, we're going to end up looking at this workflow. This is the actual workflow we're going to download. It's real simple. Um, it's got three models here that we're going to be working with. This Turbo, this Quinn um, 3 underscore 4B, and then AE dot safe tensors, which you probably are already going to have. Okay, um, real simple workflow. Okay, we're gonna find the workflow by going over to here. Um, now, it's a little bit hard to find this in Google right now because it's brand new, but I'll put the link down below. You need to go to the Comfy Anonymous blog. So it's comfyanonymous.github.io and um, you just need to look at your examples. We're looking for the Z image example. So you can try to Google that and find your way to it. But as I said, I'll I'll go ahead and post that. Now, what's beautiful about these Comfy UI examples is they always put the models you need. And this one's an easy one you need. It, it, it's, it's not a difficult model to use. You're only going to need these three here. And they always put the workflow. Now, the way that that works is they put an image and the workflow is embedded inside of that image. So it means that this image it could be one size normally, but then now it's a little bit bigger because it's holding extra data. And the extra data is this over here is the workflow that we're using. So what we'll end up doing is saving this workflow. So all you have to do is right click on this bad boy, um, save it as, and then typically you want to go to, you know, uh, you want to go to, I what I do is I put it in the location of my Comfy UI. I go to there and I create a workflows folder and then you go in there, create a Z image, create a folder called Z image. You just right click and go new folder. And then I just gonna save it into there. Okay, and you can see I've got it saved there. Um, and then now I actually have my workflow. Okay, uh, the rest of this is simple, simple. Okay, uh, we're just going to go ahead and click these things and move forward. But before we do that, I want to talk with you just a little bit about what Z image actually is. So a lot of people looking at this and they're saying that this is the Flux 2 killer, which by the way, Flux 2 just came out too as well um, and is absolutely amazing. But people are comparing the two and they're saying, you know, there's no need for Flux 2. This is going to be the killer. And I'm going to tell you why that's not exactly so. So first of all, Again, Flux is one of these models that they're, they're trained on, you know, billion, you know, 
big billions of images, like lots of parameters, lots of high quality, high resolution, this sort of thing. It's a very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it, it's expansive model that covers a lot of different um, range of tasks that you want to do with it. Okay, so it's very big. It, it, it covers a lot of stuff. Okay, now Flux also is a industry leader. It's in there. It's been there. People use Flux. They know what it is. Um, it is very ingrained into the ecosystem. Now, um, the Z image comes out, and I believe this is by the Alibaba group, which, man, they're always doing awesome stuff, okay? Um, it comes out, and it's only 6 billion parameters, which which is what makes it so incredible. So you can actually run this on low VRAM. I've heard people say they can run it with as low as six gigabytes of VRAM. I don't know if that's true or not. Run it and let me know, but it certainly would make sense. Um, so the bottom line is it's trained on much less and it's very fast, but here's going to be the issue with Z image. Okay. Because of its lower, um, parameter model, it's going to be one of these models that you tire of, a little bit sooner so when you have anything in life right you're all excited about you got it and you play with it and everything is brand new after a while you start playing with it and you start to see you start to um, play out all of the um, the ability of it and then after a while you start seeing like oh yeah you know it's like a new game you love the new game and you start playing it and then after a while you realize okay actually after several hours of this it's kind of repetitive it's sort of the same sort of levels you can be like man this role-playing game is as good as Baldur's Gate but then you realize actually once you get into it it's it doesn't have the 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 breadth of of lasting there and I believe that Z image is going to be like this it's going to be a very good model you are going to see lots of Laura's come out um, you're going to see incredible fine-tuning of this model you are going to see some really amazing stuff but it's not going to take over flux now somebody compared it to um, the XDXL models out there and like those SDXL models if you really want to do a certain thing, you know, you typically go to Flux. Now, the problem with Flux is it takes so darn long typically to run stuff. So sometimes you go to an SDXL model and you can look at that and you say, hey, you know, I can get incredibly high quality stuff. OK, I can get it fast and I don't need to go and be spending the resource as Flux. And so you go over to that um, as well with SDXL models. Typically, there's strong control net. Um, uh, support with it, which is exciting. Control net, if you remember, is like um, you can put the arms or the positions into exactly the way you want it. Typically, um, um, things you know, like the edit models. You guys remember Quinn Edit came out, and you can change stuff. Typically, that kind of stuff very easy with SDXL models. So what we're seeing with Z Images, we're seeing a powerful powerful model that is definitely going to dominate the landscape for a long time it's it's it is the new thing it is very good but it's not a flux killer okay it's not going to take out flux it's not gonna um you're gonna use it and after a while you're gonna get a little bit tired of the z image look okay which is very good like the z image is very good very realistic um but you're gonna find just like anything else that it is a tool that um, does a lot of really great stuff, but it's not the unit tool. It's not the tool that takes out all other tools, right? All right, with that said though, let's pop over and uh, get this bad boy installed real quick. All right, so we're gonna pop back over to here. Um, now, what you wanna do is you wanna be looking at the folder that you have your Comfy UI installed to. So you can see it there, it's your Comfy UI. You should have your workflows, this is how you run stuff. Inside your Comfy UI, you click in that, you got a folder called Models. See that? You click in there and then you've got all of the different stuff you're gonna want. So this is the location we're gonna to need to be. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop back over to our examples page here. Okay. Now, there's only three files we got to get down, and they tell us where they go. So we need this file. It's quinn3 underscore 4b. And look at it. It says where it goes. It says it goes in the ComfyUI folder, in the models, and then in text encoders. Okay. So if we go back to here, you'll see, oh, well, there we go. We were in our ComfyUI, as I showed you. Went to our models. There's text encoders. So all we got to do is just click on this. All right. 
It's going to bring us up to here. Don't worry about all this. You'll just see down here, there's a button that says to download. So we just click download. Okay. And then we have to make our way over to here. Pause this real quick. Someone's about to ring my doorbell. All right, and we're back. So you just go over to your location. So there we was at. I think mine is under staging. I got a couple different Comfy UI installs. It's kind of the nice thing about Comfy UI is um, you can install it multiple times. And I always usually have one for testing and I have one for my production. So I'm going to go same thing here. I'm going to click on my models. We'll go to text and quarters. Now I've already got it downloaded. You're going to see it's, uh, you know, it's almost eight eight gigabytes. It's not a small mo uh, model. So you're going to click save. All right. Now I ain't going to do it because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to resave it. Okay. But now I can click that back button. It takes back over here and we'll do the same thing. Now we got to get the Z image turbo. And notice it says it goes into Comfy UI models diffusion model. So this is going to be our main model here. Same thing. We click it. It brings us over here. Don't worry about any of this nonsense. All you got to do is click it. Same thing. We go back over to wherever you got your models. Okay, and you just click on the diffusion models. There's mine down there. Now you're in a different folder, but we're going to press it, save it there, and it's going to save it. And we'll, lastly, we'll do the same thing for AE.safe tensors. Now, if you've installed anything in the past, you probably already have AE.safe tensors, but it's fine. Go ahead and make sure you have it. You got to have it. Okay, and oh, and let's take a look here real quick. Notice that one's going in the VAE folder. Okay, so same thing. We just click that bad boy. Downloaded. hi -yo. I got to clean up my computer here a little bit here. We just head over to where it's at. Do, 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 do. There we go. VAE. And then we click into there and save it. Notice that one's a small one. That's only about 327 megabytes. So that won't take very long. Um, and then you're done. So then at this point, you just pop it up to here. You load up your Comfy UI, okay? Um, you can click over here on your file. You go open, and then look at that. There's our workflow. You pop that bad boy in there, that bad mamma jamma, and it's going to load up your stuff all ready to go. All of these models are already going to be in place, Okay, starts with the cute little anime style girl and all that. Down here is where you can change your model's uh, size. So if you want to play uh, with a little bit less, you can do that. Now, this shouldn't take very long. Uh, I want you to notice these ones, I'm running some AI in the background, so these took a bit longer. This was my initial load. So initial load always takes a little while. But look at that. We're supposed to be an Orioles thing. This is Bryles, <laughs> whatever. But there you go. That's actually really high quality stuff. And I could pump that up to 2048 and it wouldn't take much longer. Now, again, mine's saying that it was uh, it took 280 seconds there. But that's just because I've got AI stuff running in the background. Um, I'm pumping these out on a 4090, pumping these out in um, 7 to 20 seconds. Like really not taking much time at all so high quality stuff um and there's nothing it's a very simple workflow you got your seed you can randomize there obviously is your clip all this stuff really easy to do now um as usual if you don't want to bother with going to this site just go over here do a search for z image dot get going fast dot pro and it's going to take you over here. We've got a new website going on here. This feeds into the uh, the membership site, but it'll be kind of an easier way uh, to get hold of stuff. And you can see it over here. Here's Taylor Swift and a turtle, Ninja Turtle, sharing coffee in Paris. That's a great photo. That took seven seconds. What's up? Um, but you can just click over here on the free with membership. And uh, if you're a member, you get this for free. And then all you have to do to uh, load it is just extract it and double click this. And then this will actually just download everything for you. Just downloads the three models, puts the workflow in there, you're ready to go and you're ready to be playing. Then all you gotta do is click Run Comfy. Again, if you don't have a, um, a Comfy UI install, 
then go to comfy.getgoingfast.pro and I have set up a free um, installation for you guys. Okay, this is like a great installation. It'll work on your 50 series. It'll work with all your different Pythons. It's free. So just make sure you get that in there. Uh, download that bad boy. Then you can go ahead and run your Z image and you are uh, in the game making stuff right off the bat. Okay. Um, do, 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 and there you have it, guys. Z image just in time for Thanksgiving. Um, again, I, the flux stuff is really awesome. You can actually get hold of flux over at get going fast as well. But I think you probably, uh, for uh, a quick holiday here, I think you're probably gonna be really satisfied with Z image just because of the speed. The speed with which you can just pop this stuff out. Again, it's not the flux killer. It's not taking out flux. Um, but guys, oh, I got to tell you a quick too. This thing's uncensored. Like uh, you can straight up do faces of um, of people, um, of famous people, celebrities. It, it does it. It's not blocking it. Um, it's not safe for work. Uh, uh, it's not that it's not safe for work, but you can use it to create not safe for work stuff. It's truly an open model. Uh, which you can do what you want with. And it's very cool. And like I said, it's going to get trained more and more in the future to be able to be, uh, people are going to really define it. So this is a model to keep your, your mind on, to keep your eyes on, to be looking at, to be playing with. Uh, this is like day one of this release. So you guys are getting in on the good stuff. Um, but hey, come over to Discord and share your safe for, uh, safe for work stuff that you're working on. We'd love to see what you guys are working on. Okay, enjoy this. Enjoy your family today for Thanksgiving, um, you know, and then get back to your AI stuff uh, once you're done stuffing yourself with turkey and taters. All right. In the meanwhile, I want you guys to stay good. Um, you know, bless you this for this holiday and we will catch you on the other side, y'all.